Um, we've talked a lot in this committee about the unprecedented recruitment crisis in the military. Uh, as you know, the Army has very much struggled missing its 2022 recruitment goals by 15,000 soldiers, roughly 25%. I believe that part of this issue is improving our barracks, making it more livable for our men and women who are willing to serve, who are willing to die for our country. It's going to help in our recruitment efforts. I recently visited Fort Leonard Wood, which is in our, our district. We trained some, or they trained some 80,000 personnel each year. A great, fantastic uh, facility. Um, but they have some problems down there. Problems with their housing. We need to prioritize this for phase two of the advanced individual training barracks and modernization, and we need to modernize some of our ranges down there. I was in one of the barracks that was built some 50 years ago, and they are doing the best they can, uh, making this thing run on duct tape and bailing wire, basically. I saw cracks in concrete, not a danger right now, but time is of the essence in, in getting uh, some places for our men and women to live that that they're not looking for a palace or a Taj Mahal. They're looking for some place that is safe and operational. And I understand money is tight, very tight. And I do appreciate the funding dedicated to family housing for Fort Leonard Wood and the President's 24 budget. I want to make sure that our soldiers and their families have the best possible housing. And again, not, not luxurious, but something they can be proud to live in as well. As you know, it's going to take significant investment over multiple years to address the challenges, and I'm committed to working with you, working with the basis to make sure that happens. First question for Secretary Warmoth and General McConville. On February 1st of 2023, I sent a letter to both of you detailing our request to prioritize the Advanced Individual Training Barracks Phase 2 at Fort Leonard Wood. In the President's budget, or at least in the Army's unfunded priorities list, since this funding was not included in either, can you please talk about why, despite planning and design funding being appropriated in fiscal year 22, this barracks project was not included in FY24 budget requests, the Army's unfunded priorities list, nor the five-year future year defense program? Ma'am, I'll start with you. Thank you, Congressman. And I'm actually going to be going to Fort Leonard Wood Good. in a couple of weeks. Uh, I look forward to that, and I will certainly go and look at the barracks that you're mentioning. You know, as I think you've heard us say in response to a number of great questions about housing, the, the inventory of barracks that we have in the Army that need renovation or need, frankly, just total tear down and rebuild is larger than the amount of the budget that we have in any given year or two to be able to spend. And so we have a very thorough process called the Facility Investment Plan that allows us to work with commanders, you know, work with the commanding general at, at Fort Leonard Wood to try to prioritize how we're gonna go about that work. Uh, and we, we refresh that every year uh, to, because sometimes we, we come to realize that barracks are in worse shape than we thought, and if so, we move projects up. But, but at the end of the day, it boils down to we just don't have the money to do everything all at once. But I will certainly uh, look forward to Thank seeing you. those barracks and, and see for myself whether we need to move them up in the plan. Thank you. And would you also please visit one of the ranges there? I believe it's range number eight. We were there. It's not even operational. We went out there, and it's, it's sad. It's, it's built on old... 70s technology, uh, the uh, targets cannot ascend to where they can be shot at, and so they're losing, and I'm, my, I'm really worried at in a, a surge capacity, we're not going to have the training necessary to get our young men and women ready for active battle. I will visit okay, that while you. I'm there, sir. Uh, General, I think the Chinese spy balloon highlighted the need to ensure that we have a collective domestic response should an attack on the homeland happen. Um, can you take a, a minute to uh, speak to the importance of Homeland Defense Mission and how the Army contributes to something that can, and we only have 20 seconds, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I think, you know, we, we protect, we protect, we exist to protect a nation that's both home and abroad, and, and you know, we have great forces here that provide, and, and some of the forces, you know, on the chemical and all those type things that, that happen uh, come out of Fort Leavenworth, and uh, we, we have great soldiers doing that every single day, and that's what we exist to do. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I yield back and thank you for this great hearing, sir. Thank you. And I